What is Bitcoin? It's a type of cryptocurrency. But what is cryptocurrency? Well, that needs a little more explanation. But stay with me and I'll give you a super simple explanation. Welcome to another edition of Coin Locker. Today I want to give you a super simple explanation of what is cryptocurrency. Some of us have heard of cryptocurrencies, some of us have bought and sold cryptocurrencies, some have made money, some have lost money. However, very few of us really understand it. So today I want to make this video so that a 10 year old and an 80 year old can get a sense of cryptocurrencies and bitcoins. In this video, I'll talk about three simple concepts to understand cryptocurrencies. One, tokens. Two, physical versus digital. Three, control. To understand cryptocurrencies, we must understand tokens. Tokens are used in food codes, clubs, casinos. We buy tokens by paying real money. Then we present the token to the food court attendant, bartender or the casino attendant. In exchange for the token, we get a cup of coffee, beer or a chance to play the game of blackjack. Now if you take the token out of the food court, club or the casino, it has no value. It's just a piece of plastic. These tokens were created by business establishments to serve a specific purpose. They're not money, but they have purpose and value. They can be exchanged with something or even money. For instance, if you win a game at the casino, you get back a lot of tokens and you can go to the counter and exchange it with real money. In the most basic form, cryptocurrencies are just tokens, a token that you can buy or sell. It has no real value. When we talk about tokens, we think of plastic or paper tokens. You can buy them, touch them, hold them and even break them with a little effort. I call them physical tokens because they have physical qualities. Now let's imagine digital tokens. They exist only on computers, they're made of numbers. You can't touch them, feel them or hold them. But they unmistakably exist. Cryptocurrency is a perfect example of a digital token. They're born, live and die on the internet. That's the reason cryptocurrency is also known as the money for the internet. Who controls currency? The central banks. They issue new currency, they exchange torn currency and sometimes even announce an end of life of a currency. Now let's see who controls cryptocurrency. A set of computer programs on the internet. This is not a secret formula. Instead, it's an open secret and these programs are open source programs, meaning anyone can read them. They control how much cryptocurrency must be released to public, who should be rewarded with new cryptocurrency and why. These programs also decide the true ownership of cryptocurrency. It's a scientific method and there are no politics or favors done to anyone. Computer program will not allow some people to become rich overnight. They're truly democratic in nature. Computer program doesn't care if you're rich with thousands of cryptocurrencies or if you hold a tiny fraction. They just follow a set of rules for creation, transfer and ownership. Here is a quick recap on the three concepts about cryptocurrencies. Number one, cryptocurrencies are similar to tokens, just like the ones you get in the food court, clubs or the casinos. Number two, physical versus digital. Cryptocurrencies are just numbers on a computer. Number three, control. Cryptocurrencies are controlled by a suite of computer programs that follow simple rules. So there you have it. I hope you have a better understanding of cryptocurrencies after watching this video. If you want to know more about cryptocurrencies and its security, do subscribe to my channel and I'll keep posting more videos. So let me leave you with this question today. Can you buy anything with cryptocurrencies today? Can you go shopping with your bitcoins in your wallet? Do you know any shop who would accept them? Do leave your answers in the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video interesting, please comment, like and share.